No trip to CES would be complete without checking up on the progress of Rivian and what a journey it's been for this fantastic company. Last time I saw Rivian was at the 2018 LA Auto Show. It is, was just kind of making itself known in the automotive market after many years operating in stealth mode with some great names from the automotive industry working in, in almost secret to bring the R1T and the R1S to a point where they were ready to share it with the rest of the world. Fast forward a year and a bit and Rivian has received some you know, phenomenal investment from Amazon, which is why Rivian is here at CES 2020 on the Amazon stand. Three billion dollars in total so far that Rivian has received in funding, which is, is an amazing cash injection for this fantastic company. The R1T behind me is looking as good as ever. Got some great tech inside. We now know the starting price. The R1T is going to start from 69,000 US dollars. You can put down a $1,000 deposit. I still want one. We were discussing this coming down. We, we brought an entire crew's worth of gear, camera equipment, studio, everything else. We could just lump it in the back of this truck and just drive normally rather than have you know the roof box and the trailer and everything else. So we still really want one of these. I'm a fan of pickups, as you all know, if you watch this channel. But they start at $69,000 and for that, that base model price, you're going to get 300 kilowatts of power at the wheels. You're going to get a 105 kilowatt hour battery and that's going to be good for 230 miles of range. And that's from the entry level model, which puts the R1T even in entry level form at $69,000, still at a very decent performance point in the market. Granted, it's still quite a pricey vehicle, but this is not, you know, your Chevrolet Bolt or your everyday driver. This is an adventure vehicle. It's being marketed to those who enjoy an active outdoor lifestyle. And I really like the fact that Rivian is being very clear about what its target market is. It's not pretending to make a super affordable vehicle. That's not what the R1T is about. It's about a vehicle that can go anywhere and help you enjoy the outdoors while simultaneously being zero emission. And if you think about it, I know plenty of people who like going hiking in the mountains, who like doing downhill mountain biking, who like to go hunting or fishing, who like to go snowboarding or skiing in the winter. And they've all got great big gas guzzling Ford pickups or SUVs that they use to go off into the trails at the weekend and disappear for a couple of days and then come back on Monday. With the R1T, you don't have to make that choice anymore. You can choose to go fully electric and still enjoy the outdoor adventure. As I'm sure you're all aware, the R1T and the R1S do have power takeoff on board. So you can actually run your little, your little hut in the, in the forest from this truck, as long as you've got enough power on board. You can, you can cook with it and Rivian's actually considering selling a portable kitchen that slides out of what it calls the gear tunnel. But this gear tunnel fits all the way through the vehicle and gives you an additional storage space. There it is as it pops down. You can fit a uh, ski gear in there. You can fit surf gear in there. And it means that it's secure so no one's going to steal your expensive sports equipment or whatever else you want to transport that's expensive. You've got the pickup, the, you've got the power takeoff at the back, as I've said, which is great for, for drying wetsuits or as someone once famously said to me on the channel, well, you, could, you could hang your fursuit up and dry that there as well. Well, yes, if that's your thing, you could do that too. If you want the most powerful Rivian R1, so you have to actually opt for the mid-spec version with 562 kilowatts at the wheels. It has a 135 kilowatt hour battery pack and that's good for 300 miles. And if you want the longest range variant, well, you can get a 180 kilowatt hour battery pack, which I think is still the largest capacity battery pack that you can get in any available electric vehicle on the market. It has a range of four 100 miles per charge, which really will get you into the middle of absolutely nowhere for the weekend and back without having to worry about recharging. And it has about 522 kilowatts at the wheels. I cannot wait to see this enter into production. It's due to happen this year. 
We're promised that deliveries will start towards the tail end of this year. But at the same point, Rivian is also producing Amazon's all-electric delivery truck, which will be leveraging all of the technology that's in this vehicle to make Amazon's delivery fleet zero emission. And if you think about how big Amazon's delivery fleet has become over the last couple of years, it's really, really important for Amazon to lower the carbon footprint of its delivery fleet. So well done to Rivian for helping that happen. And of course, I can't not talk about the very, very famous tank steer mode, which I haven't seen in person. I'm hoping I get to see it when we go to Fully Charged Live in Austin, Texas in a few weeks time. But it is a phenomenally clever mode. It allows the car to quite literally turn on a dime. And I can't wait to try that out. Let me know if you are still in love with the R1T. I most certainly am. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Support the show using Patreon, Kofi or buying something from our swag store. I'll be back soon with more great content from CES. But until then, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Keep evolving.